Hello, and on this, the darkest, shortest day of the year, welcome to Headliners. I'm Dominic Frisby, and this is the show in which we look at some of the best, the most important, interesting, amusing, irritating, perhaps even inspiring stories from tomorrow's papers. The papers are being printed as we speak, but we've just found out what the headlines are. So, before I welcome tonight's two guests, let's run through them. Here are tomorrow's headlines. The Express has Christmas can go ahead, but new curbs loom. The Telegraph has glad tidings for Christmas, but perhaps not the new year. Pretty much all of the papers going with this story. And Welsh may still go to the pub, but could face £60 fine if they go to work. The Labour Party there fining people for going to work. You can't write it. The Guardian leads with PM rules out further curbs on Christmas socialising. And there's also the Chancellor's one billion bailout for the hospitality sector being too little too late. And also this story, the ruler of Dubai's £500 million divorce payout. The Independent has PM no restrictions before Christmas and also Cabinet Secretary misled officials over parties row. This is Britain's top civil servant, Simon Case. The FT has Putin warns of military response to Eastern encroachment by NATO. Not often you see the word encroachment in a headline, particularly when it refers to NATO and not Russia. There's also the big money divorce and Sunak's one billion support to businesses only sticking a plaster on the Omicron wounds. I'm pleased to say that I finally discovered the correct way to pronounce Omicron. There was me thinking it was Omicron, but it is in fact Omicron. So we turn to the Metro and Christmas can go ahead. How kind. It also has this biggest Britain's Britain's biggest divorce payout story. Um, Christmas is happening, screams the eye. Now UK waits on London hospital data. It's as though they want that data to be bad. The Times has take test to see family at Christmas, says Johnson, and the blackmail anger of the 554 million divorce judge. This is uh, within that story, the, the 6.7 million paid by Princess Haya bint Al Hussein, who was married to the ruler of Dubai, to her bodyguard lover and other members of the security team to keep them silent over their affair. Kevin Costner and Whitney Houston, this is is not. And finally, I hope we have the Daily Star. Do we have the Daily Star? We do have the Daily Star, which has <laughs> always straying from the crowd. The Daily Star story is, Dear Santa, this year I would like to see a train. Uh, Dear Santa, this year I would like a train set, a pony and a bumper pack of lateral flow tests, please. Apparently, uh, luxury lateral flow tests are one of the most in-demands uh, items from Santa Claus. Luxury lateral flow tests, a, a new dimension to the meaning of that word.